This. But I, I, I didn't care. I didn't care if I didn't even end up on the podium. As long as I'm here, it was me. I, I didn't care. As long as I'm out there twisting again, having and finding the joy for gymnastics again, who cares? Has the same energy as this. Goal, and I'll be there regardless of if I'm on the floor or if I'm in the stands. Do you want to compete or do you want to just, you know, yes. be a legend? Well, I hope I'm on the floor. Because you're already a legend. After all, Simone Biles is already the most decorated female gymnast ever. She no longer has the need to prove anyone anything. Her long list of accolades already speaks for her. But that doesn't mean she does not want to continue her dominance on the mat. And with the Paris 2024 competition draw very recently announced, many are wondering as to what event could four-time Olympic champion Simone Biles start at the Olympic Games Paris 2024. With the Olympics just a few more months away, Simone's strategy is... Dad, I think we're going to take the approach, the same one that we took this year, just meet by meet, and we'll see where we end up. On that note, sports fans and enthusiasts alike couldn't help but notice her absence at the Winter Cup 2024. As you all probably know by now, Biles is not participating in the Winter Cup, but she's not the only notable U.S. gymnast sitting out the event, as Jordan Childs also withdrew. Besides, Biles doesn't need to be in the Winter Cup, which many women are using to qualify for the U.S. Championships in May, as she's already qualified as a member of last year's team for the World Championships, where she won, well, everything. Although Biles did not comment publicly about her exclusion from the Winter Cup roster, there is no indication she's dealing with an injury. Still, since Biles is aiming to become the oldest U.S. female gymnast to compete at the Olympics since 1952, she requires careful management and training in the coming months. That might be one reason she's sitting out the Winter Cup with larger goals in mind. It's been a long road back for Biles, who dealt with the twisties at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 and stepped away due to mental health for nearly two years. Still, she proved last season that she remains at the top of her game when fully healthy. Childs, who trains with Biles and also withdrew from the Winter Cup, told reporters at the U.S. Women's National Team Training Camp in February that Biles is careful about when and how she pushes herself. She knows her body. She knows her mind. She knows what's good for her and what's not, Childs said. With Biles and Childs both out of the Winter Cup, they appear to have determined that staying out of the spotlight and training gives themselves the best chance at earning a ticket to Paris. But being physically absent at the event doesn't mean Biles was not mentally there either. She took to her Instagram stories to share a heartwarming update with her fans and express her love for the sport. She snapped her iPad displaying her live stream of the event, captioned, Winter Cup, accompanied by fire and heart emojis. She then reacted to the impressive routines of the female gymnast at the event. The Winter Cup 2024, which is serving as a qualification event for the 2024 U.S. Gymnastics Championships, saw the conclusion of the senior women's events a few days ago. The Pan American Games 2023 all-around gold medalist Kayla DeCello became the all-around champion. Meanwhile, Sky Blakely, a two-time World Championships champion in the team competition, and Hesley Rivera, a two-time World Juniors medalist, respectively, secured 54.650 and 54.000 points. With this, they clinched the silver and bronze medals in the all-around. In the balance beam, Blakely and Rivera both emerged as the joint gold medalist, while DeCello clinched the bronze. Trinity Thomas and Caitlin Jong won the silver and bronze medals in the uneven bars. In the floor exercise, Kalia Lincoln took the silver and Rivera collected the bronze. Since no athletes performed two vaults, there were no medalists on the vault at the Winter Cup. With these amazing performances, even Biles, considered to be one of the greatest gymnasts of all time, was impressed, which she proudly expressed in a tweet. The girls are not playing around this year, she posted. Although the fans are excited to watch Simone Biles in action, she is yet to confirm her 2024 season. As earlier mentioned, Biles already has secured a spot for the 2024 U.S. Gymnastics Olympic Trials since she was a member of the nation's squad at the previous year's World Championships. Her last tournament was the World Championships 2023, where she dominated by bagging five medals, including four golds in the all-around, team, balance beam, floor exercise, and a silver in the vault. 
Just in case you needed reminding, Biles made a comeback to the sport last year after having last competed in 2021 and taken a break owing to mental health issues. While the particulars of when will Biles compete this season are still not confirmed yet, what we can be sure of is her current whereabouts. Anyway, it's not a secret that Simone is currently enjoying a tropical getaway with her husband Jonathan Owens to celebrate the wedding of her close friends. Well, it was initially a secret, at least their destination. Before the reveal, Simone took to her Instagram stories and shared a few glimpses of their vacation. Her first story was a walk on the beach with her husband, which she captioned, ready to go on vacation again. It didn't take long for Biles to reveal where they actually were and what for. In an Instagram story, Biles shared a wedding card of her close friends, Keely Amelia Cartret and her friend Kamu Grugier Hill to be held in Oahu, Hawaii. The story was captioned, Let's Get Y'all Married, by Biles, with the ocean in the background. Based on the photo she uploaded on her Instagram, it appears that Biles is having the time of her life. And even when she's out of the limelight, so to speak, her dominance in the sport is pretty obvious, especially after it was announced that she was among the Laurelis World Sports Award 2024 nominees. Simone Biles is nominated in the category of Comeback of the Year after she returned to gymnastics after a nearly two-year absence that began in the aftermath of the Tokyo Olympics. And speaking of the Olympics, the Paris 2024 Artistics Gymnastics Team Competition Draw is now out. A few days ago, the first phase of the Artistic Gymnastics Competition Draw for Paris 2024 was announced with reigning world champions, Team USA's women and Japan's male team, getting their Olympic circuit underway on balance beam and vault, respectively. With 12 men's and women's teams to compete in Paris, the Olympic draw serves as the blueprint of how the competitions will play out, according to the International Gymnastics Federation, or FIG. The Olympic draw sets out the order athletes will compete in during the men's and women's team and individual qualifications, as well as individual apparatus finals, FIG announced in a statement. The women's competition is separated into five subdivisions and the men's into three, with each of them having their own time slot to compete. Twelve men's and twelve women's teams will contest the team competition in Paris, to be held on July 27th to the 30th inside the city's famed Bercy Arena. After the qualification rounds, the best eight men's and women's teams will advance to team finals on July 29th and 30th. Anyhow, it isn't clear when Biles will compete next, but the next major event for the U.S. women's national team is the U.S. Classic in May. You should know that Biles won the senior championship at the event in 2023, the sixth of her career, so she could gain momentum in Hartford before the Olympics. The U.S. gymnastics competition takes place two weeks later in late May and early June, followed by the U.S. gymnastics Olympic trials in late June. We'll just have to wait and see. That's exactly what we need to do with this athlete.